Hello friends, welcome to Planning P6. Hope you are doing well. Today I am here with a short explanation of the delays and flag. How we can see our project delays in Primavera P6 and how we can add the flag or red uh, signs to see if the activity is negative. So the, uh, for the float option, if you say the float option is not a delay because the exceptions are not included or the holidays are not included in the uh, float so here I have added from the enterprise if you go to the enterprise and use the user defined field here and in the activities windows delays then delay one and flag I have added three columns text number and indicator so for the user defined field I will include that video tutorial link in that you can see there how you can use that so next I have added also the same columns here from the user defined field delays flag and delays zero one so what is the purpose for example the number if you are adding the numbers so it is cumulating and it makes confusion up to the WBS level and rolling up all of them it is the cumulative of this one so that's why I have added the delays in text to see for the each activity only so then we will go to the use the global change and then tools global change delays if I go to the modify I have used that formula if you can see there this formula in that a formula delay 001 project baseline finish minus finish and then I have also in the same global change added that delays is equal to delays 001 okay and then commit the changes over there okay close that happened when it will come it will be automatically put here the delays and put here the delays and now if you want to hide this column simply remove this column from your schedule and apply over there apply and okay now you can see the column is not there and there are indicators you can also alarming indicator good to go and all indicators are also there this is also explained in that other tutorial so you can use it and also if you have any other uh, there then you will use option the fill down for that as well